these are some examples from day 21. Uh, in this problem, they tell us that segments ZD, ZE, and ZF are perpendicular bisectors of ABC, which means that would make this point Z here, uh, this would be the circumcenter, because that's where um, that's where uh, perpendicular bisectors meet up. Use this information to find the length of each segment. So they tell us that ZF is uh, 38, ZA is 85, and AB, which is this whole side over here, AB is uh, 154. So they want us to find AD and ZB. Let's start off with AD. Well, because a perpendicular bisector bisects a side, it cuts it in half, then that AD would be half of the 154. 154 divided by 2 is 77. The last one, ZB, which is now ZB is the distance from the uh, circumcenter to the angle, we know that since perpendicular bisectors start off from a side, we remember that we're, um, from wherever they meet up, from the circumcenter to any angle, that's going to be congruent. So ZB is going to be the same thing. Let's use some different colors here. The distance from Z to B is the same as from Z to, uh, to C, and more importantly, from A to Z, which they told us was 85. So we already know that that's 85. 77 and 85. Okay, here, um, measure of angle LKM uh, is what we want to find, and they're telling us that uh, JKL, so J, JKL, this big angle here, is 65 degrees. Well, because these distances, 9.5, are the same, that tells me that this ray, KM, is an angle bisector. It's cutting that 65 in half. So 65 divided by 2 is going to be a decimal, but since this is a measurement, we'll go ahead and keep that decimal. That's going to be uh, 32.5. LKM, which is what we're looking for here, just so, so they know LKM is half of the 65, so that's going to be 32.5 degrees. Okay, CF and EF are angle bisectors. So find the measure of angle FED. FED, we're looking for the measure of that angle there. So if CF is an angle bisector, then I know that this is 16 degrees here as well. And an EF um, is an angle bisector as well. Even though they don't tell me how many degrees um, are there, I know that FEG is going to be the same as FEC. So, um, yeah, I want FEG, which is the same thing as FED. Well, I know from triangle angle sum that the um, inside angles of a triangle uh, add up to 180. I also know that the exterior angles is uh, equal to the sum of the two remote interior. Um, it looks like for this one here, the one I'm going to want to use is uh, interior angle sum. I'm going to get the 52 degrees that they gave me with, together with these two 16s, which gives me 32. And that um, combined with this um, CED, so let's see. If I get that and add it to CED, measure of angle, CED plus the 32 plus the 52 should be um, give me should give me 180. So the measure of angle CED plus 84 is equal to 180 minus 84 on both sides. So the measure of angle CED 
is equal to 96. Well, the one I'm looking for, which is measure of angle FED, is half of that because CED was getting cut in half to make FED. So that's going to be 96 divided by 2, which that's going to give me 48, 48 degrees. Okay, this next one, TJ and SJ are angle bisectors of RST. Find the measure of the distance from J to RS. So I'm looking for this distance here that I don't know. Uh, actually, no, I'm sorry, I apologize. Sorry, J to RS should be um, this distance here, which I don't know. But I know that that distance is going to be the same as this unnamed distance here. So um, how can we do that? Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess that um, even though this is poorly marked, it looks like this 8.33 is pointing to there. So since those are supposed to be the same, I'm going to assume that that's what they meant. So let's try that, 8.33. And that's correct. Find the length of BC, segment BC. Okay, well, what I know about BC is that it's 4Y minus 12. I can tell from these markings here that this ray AB is an angle bisector. So um, not only does it cut the angle in half, it is equidistant from the uh, sides of that angle. So that means that 4Y minus 12 should be equal to 2Y plus 8. Minus 2Y on both sides. Uh, which is going to allow me to do plus 12 on both sides. And I get that 2y is equal to 20. If I divide by 2, y is equal to 10. Um, but we didn't want y, we wanted the length of bc. So therefore, bc is going to be equal to 4 times 10 minus 12, which is 40 minus 12, which is 28. Okay, find the measure of angle GDF. So GDF, which they're telling me is 7Y plus 4. Because these distances, 2.7, are the same, that makes this an angle um, bisector, which means that 7Y plus 4 would be the same as 8Y minus uh, 4. So we'll put the Ys on the same side, minus 7Y. Then I go plus 4 and plus 4. So 8 is equal to y. I wanted GDF. GDF is 7y plus 4. So the measure of angle GDF is equal to 7 times 8 plus 4, which is 56 plus 4, which is 60. This diagram shows medians, so that means that P is the centroid and the length of some of these subsegments. So let's apply centroid theorem. So that's what we were talking about before with centroid theorem, where the distance from the centroid to the side is half the distance from the centroid to the angle. So if they give me here this 4, which is from P to Z, if I double that, that's going to give me 8. So from F to P is 8. This 9 here, the P to G, is going to the angle, so half of 9 would be 4.5. Um, because these are medians, um, they, they connect midpoints, then uh, this 12 would mean that over here, this is 12. And I don't see any other measurements, so let's see if that answers our question. They want from F to H. The distance from F to H, well, that's 
over here on the side and 12 plus 12 is 24 so um, 24 units okay here again we're applying centroid theorem and they want us to know the distance uh, g to x the distance from g to x which is now this the, the length of an entire um, median well they're giving us the distance from the centroid to the angle so the distance from the centroid to the side is half of that half of 13 is 6.5 meet that half of 13 is 6.5 so 6.5 plus 13 if I add them together gives me 19.5 okay more centroid theorem uh, here we want ky the distance between k and y they're giving me the distance from the uh, centroid to the side, so I know that the, the distance from the centroid to the angle is double. So 2.2 .2 times 2 is 4.4. 4.4 plus 2.2 .2 is going to be 6.6. And finally here, select the model that has three altitudes. Well, we know altitudes begin from an angle and they go to the opposite side and meet it at 90 degrees um, the one that I see doing that going from the angle to the opposite side at 90 degrees would be angle uh, would be uh, choice a to be honest uh, so with some of these diagrams I can't even tell what's going on but the one that pretty clearly is going from angle to opposite to opposite side at 90 degrees oh this is not drawing out correctly oof oh. My mark is not working too well, but um, the uh, the one that has the alt the altitudes drawn is um, answer choice A.